Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you create a switchboard form, all you are doing is changing the form's function or purpose within the database. Instead of allowing users to perform data entry, switchboard forms allow users to click buttons or make choices in option groups that then launch macros which grant access to other forms or reports or automate other database tasks. Switchboard forms are used to control the flow of the database application screens. Now starting in Access 2010, this functionality has been incorporated into the new navigation form types, which allow you to create switchboard forms and add buttons for navigation more easily than before. While you can still create a switchboard form using this method in Access 2010, you may find that using the navigation form type is simply faster and easier. So to create a switchboard form, you would click the blank form button that appears in the forms group on the create tab in the ribbon. Do not associate any data source with the form, and if needed, switch to the selected forms design view. Now next in the form design view, click the form selector button that appears in the upper left corner of the form. It's the square gray button that is located at the intersection of the horizontal and vertical rulers. This will place a small black square into that box. That means that you have the whole form selected versus selecting a specific section within the form, such as the details section. Now next ensure that you can see the property sheet. If not, you can click the property sheet button that appears in the tools group on the design tab of the form design tools contextual tab within the ribbon. Now in the property sheet you would now change some default settings to get rid of some of the aspects of the form which you commonly associate with data entry. This will clear the way for you to then add images, command buttons, or other types of navigational controls into the form. So to start click the format tab. So in this tab, click into the default view property and set the value to single form. Then you can click into the allow form view property and select yes. Then you will set the allow datasheet view, allow pivot table view, allow pivot chart view, and allow layout view values to no. This will prevent the user from changing the view of the switchboard form. Next, you should choose the Record Selectors property and set that to No. Click into the Navigation Buttons property and set that to No. This will remove the distracting record navigation features, which you would not use in a switchboard form, as you do not perform data entry in those types of forms. So once you've made these basic changes, plus any additional ones that you would like, you can then save the changes to the form. You can then begin adding your desired navigational controls, command buttons, labels, and other on-screen instructions to your switchboard form. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.